Um, it's been a while doing those. I've even forgotten how to do them. Focus me. Focus. Okay, let's do this. This app. This app keeps adding usability fixes and new features all the time. From the filter, we can filter apps per remote, like the Flathub beta. And then we can temporarily disable the updates from a specific app or even a specific remote. And if we ever get a bug with an update, we can even downgrade to a previous version from Flathub archives. How cool is that? Pipewire is the best, and EasyFX makes it the bestest. What if you talk online but there is a lot of noise? No problem because you can add a noise remover or a compressor. In fact, you can even add DAW plugins. And you can stack them on a list, you can rearrange them, you can disable and enable them, you can create and save presets. Isn't anything more you want? There is a device management too. But if things go wrong, try to restart the Pipewire service first. Um, so what if GNOME isn't very touch customizable? Community is here once again. And Touche app is now GNOME 45 compatible. You can customize the three fingers swap actions or set new actions for four fingers. You can add two or more pinch fingers actions. You can set custom gestures per app, even for the Touche app itself. That's a bit Touche. Come on, developers. To-dos are like the hello world for the 21st century. Is it 21st or we are on 22nd already? It feels like ages since Adam was an editor for the 21st. You guys remember that? Anyway, so enter will send the new task on the bottom so we can immediately add a new one. Or alternatively, we can add a subtask. Errands can sync both to Nextcloud or CalDAV and import and export notes. Although I didn't try it. Hello? Guess who is it? Mori Calliope after an elephant stepped on her throat? No, it's me, Brody. I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Mo All right, time's up. Cartridges is a game launcher that imports and launches games from Steam, Lutris, Heroic, Bottles, Flatpaks, obviously. Um, it's like an app that tides up your game's library, so you have everything in a single place. For instance, this is Vroid Studio from Steam. If we open the game info panel, it launches the game with the xdg open steam command, which means Steam will launch first. Except, of course, if it's already running in the background. Can we run a Steam app without launch Steam? I don't think so. Rust and GTK4, 12,000 stars on GitHub, and available for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. We add a folder, we hit search, and the app will locate the duplicates in record time. But because it can do so much more, and I only discovered it today, I will upload a dedicated video for it later. From the same developer, and again, GTK4 Rust and multi-platform, we have a batch renamer. That may not look much, but trust me, it has amazing ergonomics. First, we'll add the directory where we want to perform the renaming, and we can scan already, and I believe it caches it too. Anyway, we only have these three files that are also opened on Files app. So let's create our first rule. It will be a simple rule from lowercase to uppercase. And when we add the rule, we have an instant preview. Lowercase hello turns to uppercase. Let's add another rule. This time we'll select the add text pattern and we'll add a new string before the file name. A lowercase hey and underscore. Apply the rule, and again we can preview the changes. Lowercase hey, underscore, uppercase hello. But if we change the order of the rules, the whole file name will be transformed to uppercase. And moreover, we can save these queries and apply them if we need them again. And finally, let's actually apply the changes. And after this super ugly confirmation dialog, everything worked as expected. So that was everything for now. But I also want to apologize to Inkscape for all the bads I've said in the past. Not sure what exactly happened, but I'm using it, and everything feels super nice. Can't wait for the GTK4 port.